Okay, we now compute the variance of standard deviation for a binomial, binomially distributed random variable. All right, so if x is binomially, binomially distributed, then the probability that x is a number k is n choose k times 1 minus p to the n minus k times p to the k. And here we have um, parameters n and p, where n is some positive integer. Uh, it gives a number of trials. And p is the probability of success in each trial, probability that the event occurs. And then x just counts how many occurrences of the event, of the event actually um, unfold. And we've seen that the expectation of a Bernoulli, excuse me, a binomial random variable is n times p. So we're going to calculate the variance, and again, doing this one by hand is very messy. So we're not going to do that. We're going to rely on our computer algebra system to help us out. But we will need to set up the formula. So I need the expectation of x minus mu squared. And that's going to sum over all the possibilities. And then I have k minus the mean of the distribution, or the expectation, is mp squared, and then I'm going to multiply by the probability that my random variable has value k. Okay, and this expression is going to be entered in a Wolfram Alpha, so we'll go ahead and pull that up here. Okay, so we're going to sum, uh, let's see, k minus the mean of a binomial random variable, and you really do have to enter in this um, asterisk here to tell it to multiply n and p, otherwise it will think that np is meant to be a two-letter word, which it is not. So we got k minus the uh, mean squared, and now we're going to multiply by the distribution function of a uh, binomial random variable, that's a uh, binom binomial coefficient of n and k times 1 minus p to the power of n minus k times p to the power of k. And we're going to sum this over all the possible values for a binomial random variable, which is k equals 0 to n. Okay, press enter. Wolfram Alpha is going to do some work for us. And it comes up with, now this looks sort of funny, uh, negative n times p squared minus p. Now this looks like it's a negative number, which is impossible, because if you'll notice, every single factor here is going to be positive. And it turns out this is not a negative number. I got a minus n, but then so long as p squared is a small, uh, as long as p is less than 1 and bigger than 0, p squared is smaller than p. So this actually ends up being negative as well. The two negatives come together and make a positive. Okay, we're going to go back to the blackboard and work, work with this expression a little bit, get it to a more usual way to express the um, variance of a binomial random variable. Okay, so Wolfram Alpha gave us negative p, excuse me, negative n times p squared minus p for the variance, and that is, that is correct. But it's not what's commonly referenced, and we can write it a little bit simpler. And actually, we can, uh, by writing it a different way, it's going to make sense with what we've seen in previous in a previous example. All right, what I want to do here is factor out a p. And then I'm going to factor out a negative 1. So how, let's see, how can I demonstrate this? I think I will just write a negative 1 in there. So in this parenthesis, I'm going to have negative 1 times 1 minus p. And you'll have to look at that a little bit and make sure you agree with me that it's the same thing as what's in the parentheses up here. I think it is. I think the minus 1 times a positive 1 gives you this minus 1, and then the negative 1 times a negative p gives you the positive p there. Okay, now the minus 1 and the negative sign out front go together and give me a positive, and I have n times p times 1 minus p for the variance. And then the standard deviation is just the square root of that, the square root of np 1 minus p. 
Now this ends up making a lot of sense because you may remember that a binomial random variable, I'm going to use RV to um, abbreviate random variable, is the sum of n Bernoulli random variables. Right, the Bernoulli random variable is just giving the outcome for one trial, and the binomial random variable is counting the outcomes for n trials. And for a Bernoulli random variable, the variance was p times 1 minus p. Okay. So we had n Bernoulli random variables. Each one of those has variance uh, p times 1 minus p. And when we put those in together, when we add those n random variables together, the variance is n times p times 1 minus p. And we'll have a theorem later that will tell us that indeed when you add random, random variables together, that n shows up shows up. So there is a relationship here, and that's why I wanted to change it from the form that Wolfram Alpha gave us to this n times p times 1 minus p, which you'll commonly see in other sources as well. Okay, so those are the variances, the variance and standard deviation for a, Bernou or for a binomial random variable.